Hello there, this is Adam Sell with Nine Technology, and today we're going to be presenting Dedupe for Dummies. We know that deduplication is one of the most important technologies that you can have with your online backup and recovery solution, and we want to make sure that everybody knows exactly how deduplication works and what the different types are and why it's a very, very good thing to have. Now, there are two main types of deduplication. You've got your file level deduplication and block level deduplication. I'm going to show you the difference between the two and why block level deduplication is much more powerful and efficient. Now right here you've got three people. You've got me, you've got Ted, and you've got Bob. And let's say we've all got the same file. Maybe it's a music file. Call it one, two. Now, when you want to protect that with your online backup product, it goes to the data center and that product should recognize that everybody's got the same file and it will only protect one version of it. That way it's faster and it's much more efficient on your bandwidth. Now say Bob changes his up and has instead of one, two, he has one, three. Now when Bob backs up, it's not going to be the same as this version. So the file level deduplication means that the data center now has to protect a whole new version and protect 1.3. So when Bob goes to restore that file, he gets back his 1.3. But if Ted or I want to restore the file, we get back our 1.2. Now that's file level deduplication. Let me show you how block level deduplication works. Now for block level deduplication, it works a little bit differently. Let's give me, Ted, and Bob files again. Let's make them a little bigger. Make it a little easier to see what's going on. Now, before anything happens, when you try to back up your files, block level deduplication breaks it up into a lot of little pieces. These pieces are called blocks. And the system figures out what's in each block. So if my file has blocks one, two, three, and four. Ted's file is a little bit different and is one, two, four, and five. And Bob's file is different still. One, two, three, and five. Now, all of us are going to be backing up our files to the same data center. So the software, the Powered by Nine software, will figure out exactly what blocks are unique and only back those up in the data center. So each of us has blocks 1 and 2, so the data center is going to be protecting blocks 1 and 2 without any question. Now not each of us has block 3, but two of us do. So we back up block 3. Two of us also have block number 4, so block 4 gets backed up. And two of us also have block number 5, so block number 5 gets backed up. Now the great thing about block level deduplication is you've only got the amount of space of one and a quarter. Instead of, if you saw in file level deduplication, each of these would be completely different. It would take up that much more space in the data center, and it would slow down your bandwidth when you're trying to upload or restore from the data center. And the great thing about this is the software can figure out exactly what order the puzzle pieces go into when you need to restore. So if I need to restore, it can figure out that I need blocks one, two, three, and four. If Ted needs to restore, one, two, four, and five, and if Bob needs to restore, one, two, three, and five. That's block level deduplication, and that's the way that Powered by Nine works. I hope you understood deduplication a little bit better now, and that you can understand that block level deduplication is a much stronger and much more efficient way to do it than file level. 